Hi everyone, so in this video I wanted to do another art supply haul because I've gotten some new paint and some new markers and stuff like that that I want to show you. Um, you might hear a lot of birds out the window during this video. <laughs> so the first thing I got is some regular masking tape because I didn't have any. Um, I wanted to use it with my watercolors to tape down the paper, um, but the one I used before was green and I don't really like working with green tape around the edges of my drawing because it kind of distracts me from the color palette and it kind of like, you don't really know what it's going to look like until you take off the green tape. So I got some regular masking tape and it kind of tears the paper a little bit too much and I do try sticking it to my clothes. I use a hair dryer to remove the tape. It does help but it still sticks to the paper a lot, so I don't really know if I'm gonna keep using this. I might use it for something, um, or someone suggested that I should put this over top of the green tape so that um, this doesn't tear the paper, but um, I don't see the green of the tape, so that is one option. <laughs> and I also got some new watercolors, and I don't know if I showed these in an art haul video, um, but these are the colors that I got in addition to the other ones that I had. These are all Winsor Newton Cotman, but this is a Van Gogh brand, which I haven't really tried before. This is Naples Yellow Red Lemon Yellow Hue, Cerulean Blue Hue, and Permanent Rose. This one's really nice and vibrant. If you want a vibrant pink, I'd recommend this one. Um, this one isn't as bright as I'd want it to be. I'm still trying to find a light cyan blue color, so if anyone has any recommendations, please let me know. Um, kind of like a really bright bright blue almost, like something kind of like this. <laughs> this is a Copic marker though, it's not part of the haul. And also I picked up some new brushes because I had a round brush like this before, but it went missing and I do not know where it is. And I got a tiny brush for little details because I didn't have one before and these are just some, some open stock brushes that I found in my art stores. This one's from Michaels, this one is from Desairs, I'm pretty sure. And this is just a little cat pen. I don't know if I'd consider this an art supply, but um, it's really cute, and it kind of goes with my Totoro pen that I showed before. I don't know if I've shown this one. I think it's like a little tiny ballpoint pen. Um, they don't write the best. One of them writes good, one of them doesn't. I can't remember which one that is though, but this is just a little pen I got. I also have a purple erasable pen, but I don't know where it is, but these are erasable pens, and they actually do erase really well, I'll show you. They have like a, like a rubber a rubber tip on them that kind of removes the, the pen, so I'll show you. Oh no, it's leaving smudges from before. And then it's erased, which is pretty cool. But they are gel pens, so they're not really the best for sketching because there's a lot of ink in them. But they can be used for sketching. And these are some more brush pens I got. Whoa, that's close. Um, another Sakura Pigma one, and this is a Micron, also by Sakura Pigma brush pen. They're two different kinds. Um, this one's kind of long and, and thin, and this one's kind of short. Honestly, I really like this one. I think this one is easier to control, but I like this one as well. I just wanted to try them out, and I've been wanting to, to, to find one with actual bristles, but I can't find them for like less than like $15 because Michael's is really expensive. And this is a gold jelly roll pen and I discovered this because of an artist on Instagram. I can't remember who it was, but um, it leaves really nice gold details. So I definitely recommend this if you want like a gold detail. I'll show you what it looks like. It's really nice and it shimmers and it's really pretty. I would definitely recommend this. I just got it because I heard about it. And they also have a silver one that I want to get to. So look for the ones with the sparkly lids. They're they're the metallic kind. The jelly roll, jelly roll metallic. And this is gold. Also, here's the slightly more exciting stuff. I got some new paint. It's acrylic Liquitex, Liquitex paint. Um, I got these colors. I got a uh, primary yellow, cobalt blue, cadmium red, medium hue, but I wish I got primary blue and primary red. I think that would have been better. This one's kind of orangey. It doesn't make a very good purple, um, but you, I can mix my old acrylic paint with this blue to make a nice purple. So it does make a pretty good orange though, so that's good. I got a big thing of white because I use a lot of white and I didn't get black, but one day I want to get black because um, these are kind of um, satin finish. They're a little more glossy than I'm used to, which actually I like. <laughs> it looks a lot kind of nicer. You can tell this paint is 
a step up from the cheap acrylic paint I used to use and got it mostly to do commissions and stuff like that just so it's nicer. And I also got some Pro Markers. I'm thinking of doing a review of these. I haven't made a picture with them, but I was at Michael's, I was looking through the, the clearance section, and I saw that they had a display of Winsor Newton markers, and also this other kind of, it was, like a, it was a display of paint markers right next to it, and these were all on clearance. I think they were regularly six or seven dollars, and they're on clearance for a dollar fifty, because no one was buying them, that's what they said. So I decided to get a few of them because I wanted to try them out. And I actually have the colors here. I swatched most of them. Got sandstone, vanilla, blush, olive green, and pear green blender, as well as these colors down here. Here's that, that gold gel pen. Um, the other ones I got are burnt umber, terracotta, and pastel blue. So those are all the colors I got. I'm thinking of doing a drawing with them and doing a little review of them at some point. I think that'd be pretty cool because um, I've been wanting to find a cheaper um, alternative to Copic markers um, because I'm not really like exclusive with Copic markers because I do have quite a few of them but I only have one refill and I know that the refills make them cheaper in the long run but I can't really like I'm gonna slowly build up my collection of refills for Copics but I do want another kind of cheaper brand I can use just in my sketchbook without having to worry about wasting the ink of the Copics. So that's kind of what I got these for to use in my sketchbook and I really like them so far but I haven't really tried much blending yet but I think it's going to be fun because <laughs> I've heard good things about these markers. And the last thing I got was a new sketchbook and if you follow me on Instagram you might know that I have this already but let me just zoom out a bit. It's one of those Canson mixed media sketchbooks, 7x10. Um, says you can use acrylic, watercolor, pen and pencil, so I got this to be a sketchbook where I can use paint in it, and so far it's pretty good. I really like it. I haven't finished my other sketchbook, I'm using this tiny one. I'm using this one right now just for like pencil sketches and stuff like that, um, but this one I'm using for more mixed media sketches, and it's, I really like the paper. It's nice and thick, has a good weight to it, um, and it just takes watercolor really well, it doesn't buckle too much which I really like, so it's been good so far. But I haven't really used it, I haven't really used it as much as I would have wanted to yet. So there will be links to everything I mentioned in the description if you're curious about them or what they're called. Um, I forgot to mention something about the paint, is that it's not actually that expensive. It's about, um, is it like $5 a thing or 6 or $7? And if you get it at Michael's, you can always use a coupon. So um, I got a bunch of those. They were on sale when I got them, which was really nice, and then I used a coupon for this one, which was like $12, and I got it for $6, and they've been lasting me a long time, because I do fairly small paintings, so that's that. So yeah, everything will be linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about these art supplies, please let me know. hope you found this video interesting, just to see what I'm going to be using now, what I've added to my art supplies. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.